Hello again everyone, Nick again from Caravan Land. Thanks to Megan for requesting to look at the JK Swift. Generically it's much the same as most of our campers. You wind the handle, the lid goes up, and you pull the beds out each end. So we don't need to go over old ground there. Just a couple of things while I'm talking about this that I wanted to remind you in these times. Australian made, fully Australian made, fully Australian owned JK. So if you're looking for a reason to define us from our competitors, there's one there. It's an aluminium framed body. So this is our little baby. We've taken a lot of the weight out quite deliberately. This has a ball weight of around about 70 kilos roughly and a fully loaded weight of about 1200 kilos. So that's the baby. It's 4.2 meters in its traveling length and folded down will come down about 1.6 meters. So it's very, very small to store and very, very lightweight to tow, which is quite deliberate. It's also the lowest entry level in terms of budget as well, uh, and you can option up from there. Because small vehicles can tow it, we've tried to take some weight out of it, but you cannot take the structural integrity away. And that's why we're very proudly telling it's an aluminium frame caravan on a hot dip galvanised chassis. We will not compromise on those things. Come on in and we'll show you some of the inside stuff. Okay, thanks for coming inside. We use the 96 litre fridge. It's the same fridge that we use throughout the Jayco range. A little Dometic three-way fridge. There's little storage areas everywhere. We don't miss an inch of the caravan. In this particular one, there's a double power point in here, which we can pull up through here to run accessories up on the top. Double beds at the back on a Swift. Okay, as we come through here, the same sink that we use throughout the range. Again, plenty of storage. We try and run the plumbing out to the side so you can still utilize the spaces in here. A lot of uh, our competitors will just run hoses straight down, rendering all of that space useless. We have the little chopping block cover which doubles as a serving platter. On the Swift, we go to a two burner cooker rather than a four. Remember, the focus here is to try and get a few dollars out of it. We think that will suffice. The little dining space, is certainly enough room for arguably four people, but certainly plenty of room for two. And the dining will drop down and make a bed just like it does in all of the JK campers. It's a single bed at the front. Uh, if you're taking the kids or the grandies, they will all have the child restraint to pop up so is that no one's going to fall out of bed. And obviously on the little Swift, there's a buffet at the front. And when you open that up again, there are power points and USBs inside. And we put the portholes up through the top so is that you can run your television and your cable up through the top. So it's only a baby. It's the entry level camper for us, but it's a little beauty to get you going. Okay, that's the Swift. Thanks for watching. If you're stuck at home dreaming about your next adventure, Hopefully you can start planning today based upon the information we're giving you. So if you've got any requests for any other models, please just send them in on, online and we'll get to them. Uh, hopefully we can see you at the dealership soon enough and get you back out there. Ciao for now.